In this video, I'm going to show you some really glitchy slot cornerback pressure that you can get against bunch formation, but you can also get this against something like a U-trip style formation. And the defense we're taking a look at is the nickel 3-3. So I'm in the 46 playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the nickel 3-3. Now, if you want to get my nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, I just released it. It is one of the best defenses in the game, if not the best defense in the game right now. It is extremely, and, it, and when I say extreme, I, it is extremely versatile. It's one of the most versatile uh, ebooks that I've ever put out. It's got great coverage. It's got great pressure. It's got great run defense. It has everything you need to be effective. So if you want to get access to the full Nickel 3-3 ebook, the, uh, then join our Patreon. The link to sign up is in the description. It is only $10 to get access to the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of my eBooks, all of my updates, and any new eBooks we release while you are a Patreon member. So if you wanna sign up, the link is down in the description. Like I said, $10 will get you access to everything that we have over there. But what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to talk about this Tampa 2 out of Nickel 3.3. Now in our coaching adjustments, we're gonna go ahead and put this on baseline, and uh, what you're going to notice with this is this slot corner, if we press this, is going to be in a really good position. So we're just going to simply crack our, spread our defensive line, and then we're going to press that slot corner. From there, you can make whatever other adjustments you want. For example, if you want to shift your line down here to kind of get a loop concept going on backside, you could do that. If you want to manually move these dudes, you could do that. Uh, whatever you want to do. Okay, but I want you just to watch this slot corner. What you're going to see here is he is going to loop around the tackle on the right side. This is super, super underrated. Um, this pressure, I think, is one of the most underrated pressures in the entire game because most people don't think about this 3-3 as having this incredible slot pressure, and most slot pressures is coming from the other side um, of the formation, which we can still do that, by the way. If we wanted to, I can move this guy out and basically create dollar, but a better version of it because of where the linemen are on this play. You're going to see we're going to now come off of both sides at the quarterback, okay? So we're able to really attack the, um, the current offensive meta. Now I'm going to show you something else that is really interesting with this. Um, and that is, you know, kind of something that they're going to have to do to adapt to you. But the beauty of this slot cornerback pressure is this works against tight formations really, really well. Um, it literally is one of the best pressures in the entire game. It's super simple. Now, we can also unbaseline it, by the way. We don't have to be baselined. If we're not baselined, it might even be better. See how he loops in? And again, this is pressure that is super passive. Like, we can drop people out we can drop people out in this defense okay so if i want to drop you know these guys out on the left all right and then just run the slot quarterback pressure and the d end watch here you're going to see we're going to get that nice seal because we got wide blitz angles and he's going to come around the edge and we're only sending two people at the quarterback okay we're only sending two people at the quarterback so now they have to block a running back against a send two blitz where we have the running back man up with the defensive defensive end and sometimes what will happen it's not 100 percent consistent but sometimes what will happen is when you man up that defensive end onto the running back you'll get some really really glitchy pressure so you'll see right here um actually let me rebase the line boom and then we're gonna we're gonna man up the running back uh we'll try a bluff blitz or a spy or whatever to that dt and what you'll see, boom, boom. Two-man pressure blocked running back. This 3-3 three, three is insane. Um, because you, you don't only just have that concept. There's some other things we can do. But if you watch this, this is a two-man blitz where the running back is manned up so they can't snap throw the running back to the left side. It's a very passive pressure. But you also have a quarterback spy, basically. Like this bluff... or. Um, this guy is going to play like a spy, so I can send him in. If they try to escape out of the pocket, I have a spy. This is one of the best blitzes in the entire game, and it's coming as nobody expected it to come out of the nickel 3-3, which is primarily, like it has been for years, a really great and good uh, and effective coverage defense. But the fact is, we can send pressure, and 
they're gonna they're gonna struggle uh, to pick it up. Now sometimes they'll pick it up, and I mean again, you're only sitting two people, right? Um, but the big key here is spread your line. You want those guys as wide as you can get them. That is what causes the tackle to dumb out, and then ideally, you know, you could get this in. And again, it's not going to be 100%, but you can also send that guy and get these, you know, get a little bit better sheds as well. So this is an incredible, incredible defense. Uh, when you pair this with some of the stuff we have in the ebook, you will become an incredible, incredible defensive player in this game. Um, this, this defense is designed to play really, really good against the current meta. Um, it's got great aggressive catch defense in there. We also have some really glitchy edge heat, as you can clearly see, um, that's going to force the, the quarterback out of his standard pass protection system, which most people just like to try to block the running back. Let me show you one last thing just for fun. Um, I have noticed this blitz. It's not 100%, but sometimes if you spread your line, right? Sometimes if they block a tight end, it'll still come in. Didn't come in there. But sometimes if they block the tight end on that side, it'll still come in, which is huge, right? Which is huge because we can do all kinds of stuff. We can do all kinds of stuff over here uh, to get pressure, right? We can do all kinds of stuff over here to get pressure, right? So if they're going to, as you can see, that's insane heat. That's a five-man blitz out of 3-3, three, three, and it's more consistent pressure, in my opinion, than dollar is against when they start blocking people okay so i would really encourage you to get in the patreon learn this defense this defense is really underrated right now um there's not a ton of people running 3-3 there's a couple of people running it we're running it a little bit different than most people are right now especially with how powerful the slot corner or the nickel corner is in this formation most people don't realize that because of the wider lineman splits there's a lot of things we can do that we can't do in other formations. So with that in mind, guys, check out this defense. I love this defense. This is one of my new favorite defenses to run. Uh, but it's in the Patreon. So for just $10, you'll get access to this entire uh, ebook. You'll also get access to all of the ebooks we have over there. Dollar, 146, everything. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.